Hey guys, welcome back to Billy Monocles. So today we are here with John Schuster's kids. I'm Luke Schuster. I'm 10 and I'm in fifth grade. I'm Logan Trista. I'm in second grade. So, uh, what is it like being John Trista's kids? Well, it's pretty cool coming to all these events and watching me play. And just having a lot of fun. Yeah, I still have a lot of fun this coming to these events and stuff. You get to do a lot of, like, stuff out of it's the best when it's not time and stuff, lots of fun things. So every time uh, your dad's like, I hear like lots of uh, you guys like chants whenever your dad's to the things, so do you share them? Huh? I guess we'll do the Chris Plaz one. You know, we fancy like Chris flies on the curly nights with the muscles and the smile and the hard line with the club rim and the tattoo. All your fans in the stands, but we got you. Awesome. So, uh, uh, our whole family. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, if you guys travel a lot, uh, uh, to see your dad. Yeah, we yeah. travel a whole lot. We probably go on like. Four or five trips a year. So. And I would, I would say that trip though. So Where's your uh, favorite place you guys been? Uh, probably Omaha. I'm gonna say Omaha. And how many Olympics have you been to? Uh, uh, we have been to uh, two. You've been to one. I've been to one. He has been to two. So, uh, what, what's your favorite place? Uh, what's your favorite thing about going? Uh, uh, usually it's about watching him curl and stuff. So. What do you think uh, makes your dad the best curler? Well, well, he can do a lot of things. Like, Bye. he can hit really well and draw really well and guard anything, so... Well, he's not really the best in the world. He's the 13th best, but... Yeah, he, um, his balls are well, his hits are well. You can make lots of good shots. And what was your first sport that you played? Our, my first sport that I think I played was curl. I threw my first rock in the house when I was three years old. Um, I, well, I also threw my first rock when I was three, but I first scored a goal when I was two in soccer. So I heard you guys are uh, competitive swimmers and throwers, so which one do you like better? Uh, it's hard. It's, it's hard because they're the same season. So we have to get get to curling on some days and uh, swimming on some days. It's too hard to decide because they're both uh, yeah. So are you on the same throwing team? Uh, we throw with... Uh, well, I always curl with uh, one of my buddies, but he just sometimes switches. Sometimes I switch up a bit. Yeah. What position do you like playing? You what? I skip. I'm a skip. Oh, that's nice. And uh, do you like being on different teams? Like uh, different I, I like teams? mixing it up. I like being I, with kids I'm that I don't know. I'm fine with it, but I feel like I can do better with uh, my other team because uh, some of the teams I travel on um, aren't like that good. One time in a bond spiel I had a team and they couldn't play a rock in the house so it was all to me um, throwing triples and quads. And uh, are you competitive with uh, uh, Yeah. <laughs> So, um, you've been watching your dad curl and watching other teams curl and your own team curl. What do you think it takes to become a great curl? Well, you need Just to put in the work. In work. Still in work. You need to be on the ice. And like if once, at least like three times a week. If you're not predicting something to make it, it can sometimes be luck. And um, what do you think it is um, with a great teammate too? 
A great teammate to me is a teammate that listens and doesn't really care what they do, but also gives me feedback. So. Same what you said, I just listens well, does what uh, people tell them to do and stuff. And what does the spirit of curling mean here? The spirit of curling is sportsmanship, sportsmanship and like helping each other out if one person is not doing the best. Just giving them some tips and advice on how to make their shot look better and stuff. Yeah, definitely sportsmanship advice. And we both heard that you guys uh, were in the U18 playdowns in Minnesota. What was it like? Well, um, it was super competitive. Uh, but at the start, my team, uh, well, we didn't win any games, but uh, we there was like way older teams than us. Our, our oldest one was 13, no, 14. And um, our youngest one was eight. So I, I, I wouldn't say it was that fair for our team because the other, other teams had like a 17 year old, 15. Yeah, our team did pretty well. We won two of our games out of the seven. And yeah, the competition's good there. And there's a lot of sportsmanship going around too. So do you feel pressure to be good at the no, it's not a it's not a high pressure sport. Well, I can be pressured by some things, but I don't. I'm not pressured that a lot. Now, does your dad coach you, and what are the things that you've learned from your dad? Well, our dad kind of just like is our coach. We go we go to practice with him in the booth on days that we can, and he's just always helping us make the right choices. So. I actually um, learned some things from him, but he's not our coach for our team, so we don't really, he um, teaches my brother, he's my brother's coach, and we have a different coach, so we uh, don't really, like, I don't really, um, get that, that much tips, but, yeah. And what have you learned from your mom? Um, uh, just to hard work and listen and read. Yeah. Hard work and stuff. Now, do you want to compete in the Olympics one day? Yes. Um, well, I, I, I kind of don't and kind of do because I also have a lot of other sports I want to compete in the Olympics for that are the same season, like basketball and But in my fall and summer sports, I want to get there. And what are some hobbies outside of sports? Um, um, just hanging out with friends and maybe screens, parties. Now what are you guys' favorite foods? My favorite food is quesadillas. Um, mine is either pasta or pizza. And Luke, so we do have a YouTube channel. Can you tell us what that is and what it's about? Uh, Luke's YouTube, and I post a lot of football and stuff. So he does not put me on there. You will never see me on this video. <laughs> I've been to two Olympics, and my favorite was probably South Korea because there was this one park that I remember, and I'm super into fishing, and you could go on top, and it was like magnetic, magnetic fishing, and you could just fish for little stuffed animal fish. And um, so you guys seem like really cool, and you seem to be really good at filling. Do you like to do laundry? Oh, yeah, that would be fun. That would be great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, see you next time. Bye. Bye.